Hey basketball coaches and players, today I'm going to give you some fantastic basketball drills that will help your team be able to move without the ball much better. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. So in this first drill, we're going to have three players. Now I would run this on each net in the court, on the court, or you can run this on each side and run it through a few times. So basically what we are looking to do here is have player one pass to player four. Player 1 is then going to go and screen away for player 5, who is then going to be filling player 1's spot, and player 1 is going to be rolling towards the basket. At this point in time, we're going to be having player 1 looking to receive the ball, but he's not. We're going to have player 4 pass to player 5. Player 1 is then going to be setting a screen for player 4 who is going to be then running and sprinting to the other side of the court. Meanwhile, while that is happening, we're going to be having player 5 dribble the ball around the arc, and at this point he's going to be passing to player 4, and player 1 is going to be sprinting back up towards the top, where player 5, after he passes, is going to screen for player 1. Player 1 is then going to be filling that spot, and Player 5 is going to be rolling towards the basket. Now, you can run this through once on each side, and then ask your players to shoot. Either Player 4 can choose to Player 1, or choose to go down to Player 5, and if you would like, you could then even go through, run through the, the drill two, maybe one, uh, one time on each side, or maybe two times on each side, and then when you decide, you could say shot or layup. And that now forces player four to listen to you as the coach to then know where he needs to pass, either to player five or to player one. If player one gets that ball, I want to see player four going in to get that rebound, and I want to see player five boxing player four out. So now this next drill is not just a defense drill, it's actually also an offensive drill as well. So now what we're going to be doing is, again is moving without the ball. So what we're going to be having here is player 5 popping out. He's going to be then doing a zigzag drill across the key with player 1. Once they get to half court, what I want to see happen is player 1 pass the ball over to player 5. And I want to see player 5 now attack the rim. Player 1 at this point, we're going to be going around in a circle, so he's going to be going in the back of that line. Player 1 is attacking the rim. Now what's going to be happening is player 4 is going to pop out. He's going to be playing defense. What I want to see happen is player 5 come down on a two-footed stop. He's going to stop on two feet. He's going to pass out to player 4, and then player 4 is going to pass to player 2 for the shot. Now that's the basic version of this drill, however I have added in a few extra pieces that help your team move off ball. And what we're going to be doing is when player 1 is driving towards the rim, I want to see the first person in this line set a screen up top, and player 2 is going to be then popping down and that's going to be a shot for player 2, or you could actually decide as the coach to say for player 2 to shot, or if you're screaming out pass, 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 player 2 needs to make the extra pass to player 4 for that 3 point shot. Now, when you're finished in this line, you're going to this line. When you're finished in this line, you're going to this line. When you're finished in this line, you're going to this line. And when you're finished in this line, you're going to that line. And now in our third and final drill that I'm going to show you today, I really like this one, especially if you're running in a triangle style offense. So we're going to have two lines. I'll get rid of these other players. But we're going to have two lines. And what we're going to have here is a coach down here. And we're going to have player one pass to player four. And player one is then going to be sprinting down towards that corner. Once he gets down into that corner, what I want to see happen is player one stopping for one second and now using the coach as a screen. He's going to be cutting towards the rim and player four is going to pass him the ball for that layup. Now what we're learning here is to cut down towards the corner and then using a screen to a backdoor screen or a regular screen, whatever you want to call it, cutting towards the rim. Now you could even go into a part two of this drill as well. 
The part two of this drill is, again, player two passing to player four, cutting down towards this corner. Coach sets a screen behind his defender, and at this point, player two would be cutting towards the rim. When player two cuts towards the rim, I want to see a screen up for player four, player four popping down, player four red passing to two blue, who is then going to pass the ball out to player four, and player four is going to make the extra pass to player one for that three-point shot. Now, when you're finished in this line, you will be heading down to this line. When you're done with this line, you're heading up to this line. And then when you're finished with this line, you're heading across to that line. Now, I hope that these drills help your team move off ball much better. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball defense and 5-0 complete guide down below.